Hello, everybody. Today, we are in Kurt King's Norway at Hoibuk uh, Moon. I guess that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I don't know, but it's Echo November Kilo or Robert. And uh, a local airport around this uh, community. Not very big at all. But uh, the reason I'm here is the other day, this small, very small community had a fishing boat out on the uh, waters in the Barrent, uh, in the Barrent Bay, basically, is what it is, just a small bay. They were out fishing uh, near a place called Vardo in the uh, Arctic Ocean, and a uh, Russian Navy warship came up to them fired warning shots at them, live shots, hitting all the way around the boat. Sure scared the bejesus out of the fishing crew. But this was a uh, uh, a class destroyer, Russian class destroyer. Uh, name of the ship, I think, was Admiral Levchenko. It was part of, uh, it was in a large scale maneuver off the Norwegian coast. And uh, the fishing boat was only a 49-foot fishing boat called the Ringheld Kristen, and it was operating in the exclusive economic zone of the north of Vardo, which I just said, in the Barents Sea off Norway's northern coast. So they were not outside the waters, but Russia was definitely inside national waters, and really. Uh, uh, this has kind of stirred up some uh, some crap, so to say, within NATO. And the funny thing is, I haven't heard anything from NATO. <laughs> That's the funny part. I haven't, I haven't heard anything at all yet on uh, what they plan to do, what kind of warning they're going to make. Obviously, went through uh, embassy channels with somebody. But, uh, yeah, what a mess. I mean, Russia keeps doing these stupid little things uh, with these drones, firing them into uh, NATO countries. Um, of course, Poland wasn't NATO, but it, it had a... Lima Sierra, continue for East departure. It had a... Perkins um, Tower Cessna, November 528, Lima Sierra, continue for East departure drone land in uh, its territory and again it just it's mind boggling to me that they continue to do this stuff and get away with it nobody seems to take any uh, severe action against them for this I mean a lot of these countries can't even fire or shoot down the drones that are coming in to their territory their country. It just amazes me. The United States just seems to uh, have their hands everywhere and telling everybody, no, 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 we don't want to excavate anything or escalate anything. We want to, we don't want to, you know, we don't want to cause any problems. Now here's another one where a big ass ship comes in and starts firing at a little fishing boat in Norway. That's just, I don't know, just doesn't know. Uh, doesn't seem right to me. So there's the uh, there's the small town of, uh, of Kirkens. Not very big. There's the uh, terminal right down there off the right wing where all the ships come in.
Hawkins Tower Cessna, November 528, Lima, Sierra, frequency change. Perkins Approach Cessna, November 528, Lima, Sierra, is type Cessna stationary 5 miles northeast of Perkins, 1,200 feet. Request flight following. Squawk 0247, Cessna 8, Lima, Sierra. So this is the uh, direction the ship would have had to go out to uh, Barrett Bay. I, would, I guess I would call it a bay. stuff around here that's for sure I mean you don't even see any you know no homes uh, no building structures or anything out here it's just rock over to uh, Vetso and uh, once I get in the open water here I'll double up to this speed and zip on over to uh, to that location see the bay out there in front of it and uh, Vetso is on the opposite side of it so we'll skip over there in just a second a lot of open water here and uh, the fact that uh, the Russian destroyer came in here at all is amazing but they do that kind of crap Let alone, uh, a bit, you know, just let alone that it's firing on a damn fishing boat. I just, that's just not right. I don't know. That would just, just doesn't seem right. Little by little, they seem like they just do these little pin tricks. And I think, you know, they're just thinking, well, nobody's done anything yet. Just imagine if you were <clears throat> in our waters off the coast of the United States and you're in a 49 foot, 50 foot fishing vessel and a Russian destroyer comes down the Atlantic <clears throat> and starts firing at your ass while you're fishing in waters, NATO waters off the coast of the United States. Imagine, I wonder, would we do anything about that? <laughs> I'm just wondering now, would we? All right, let's scoot over. It's 
small community. spread out over there on the left side. Pretty good sized community there. Uh, anyway. What we'll do, we'll bring the map up. Let me go ahead and go fast forward. As you can see, there's not much here at Varda. I got an airfield, got some scattered homes, uh, but not heavily populated. Now this island, of course, is. Uh, I guess these people get on this island by boat, aren't they? <clears throat> There's no bridge here. That's amazing. That's a lot of people out there. Pretty nice harbor in there, and it's well protected. All right, so we'll push our prop in. Come on into Bardo Airport. A little bit of a crosswind here. A oh, little slope in the runway. A little fast. Coming in. Wow, that's horrible. Absolutely horrible. That's going to be the worst, one of the worst landings I've ever done this way way too hot 
and there's all kinds of runway here. Jeez, not like I uh, need to do a short field. There we go. All right, so we'll shut her down here. Open some doors and get out, smell the nice salty air. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Pretty place out here. Shame what happened. I hope it doesn't escalate. Talk to you later.